Hi, welcome. It's Julesy here from JT Creations. Um, I was watching um, Foxy Crafters uh, the other day and she was doing some leaves. I've found some dyes. Uh, I think mostly Spellbinders dyes. So what I did was I played about with some new oxide inks and distress ink sprays that I got. Um, and I've cut these out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a go at embossing them. I might have a go at double embossing some of them. Um, so I'm using Versamarker ink. And just make sure it's well and truly sticky with this Versamarker. Well, do this one, I like this one, it's nice. Move it over a bit. A lid on the ink. Right. I'll just move these out of the way for now. Okay. So I'm using stamp way ultra thick enamel and I've not used this one before so I'm not quite sure how it what it's like got plenty on I should have had my tweezers but never mind use them again getting them bossing enamel all over my fingers lovely right we'll move this out of the way because I don't want my heat gun in fact what I'll do is I'll put it back in the jar and then I won't have it blown all over my craft room. I'm just going to use my my heat gun. We'll do this one first. I'm holding it just with a, a tool. Now the heat guns are very hot. Um, quite powerful so and very noisy uh, you can see it changing now that looks quite nice and while the enamel's still hot you can move them about so we'll try the next one in fact what i'll do is i'll nip it with this and i'll try keeping it from underneath it's just i'm using 100 gsm paper so that's why it's a bit flexible Well, it seems to bring out all the inks in it, it's quite nice. You can see. I've missed a bit there. I love to see this turn when the embossing powder heaps up. Again, 
very autumnal colours. Just pinch it with this one and get this end bit done. Right. We'll just go on and just get rid of that. Right, so double embossing, what you do is normally you would, while that's still hot, dip it back in the powder. But obviously I was embossing a few leaves. So if you put it back, on the Versa marker or any any type of ink that's suitable for embossing purposes All right bring my paper down again and what I'll do is I'll keep this in Looks a bit like sugar, but it's not. I'll keep this over here so I can double dip it. You can see some of the larger granules are flying off. Right, now why it's hot. And be careful because it's hot, it's molten. Um, it's not stuck all over, but and you can try with coloured embossing powders, that's lovely. But it is very hot, I can feel the heat underneath. So we'll just leave that. 